You can get a sniper weapon, a nuke and so many other important weapons for your arsenal right from the start in Fallout 4. So today I'm presenting you six items you want to get as soon as possible in Fallout 4. Stay tuned for that. What's up guys, I'm Frankie Boy. On this channel I'm covering everything regarding open world RPGs. So great to have you here and uh, see all of your smiling faces. And right from the start you can get uh, this sniper rifle EG. I'm gonna go through all the these items let's start off with the easiest one which is weapon number six so starting off with the lowest here and it's of course your laser musket you get it right at the start in a mission of course in conquer simply head there from sanctuary to conquer and do the mission and there you will get it anyways. Keep this weapon, upgrade it. I um, added a scope, I added an increased magazine so I can reload it three times. Works great until you get a better one and I would suggest you guys to get item number two as soon as possible. Ah, just, just uh, for a completionist, Stats for the laser musket are, I, I named it laser phaser, 30 damage, fire rate of 6. Quite a nice thing for the start. Weapon number 5 is the Righteous Authority and it's called Rechtmäßige Herrschaft here because I switched the language and it unfortunately keeps the name so I can rename it at some point. This is a legendary or unique we weapon and it looks like this and shoots those um, laser beams quite fast. It's an insanely strong weapon. I would totally recommend to get as soon as possible. Where do you get it? You can get it at the Cambridge Police Station. It's uh, southern from Concord and uh, Sanctuary on your way to Diamond City. It's almost in between. And there you will get some radio on the military frequency and you will help out the Paladin, Paladin Dance. Paladin Dance will get you on a mission. You gotta take out um, uh, like this little fabric here. It's filled with synths and they will go for you. It's not Sin City, but Synth City. Simply follow the Paladin until you're in the last room and there you will have to start a turbine. But keep in mind, this can burn you. You have to hide in a place. I hide it um, at the bottom. And I used some stim packs to keep myself alive because, yeah, there will be fire everywhere. After this mission, you will get the weapon, of course, by Paladin Dan Dance himself. And then you can shoot around laser beams like I did. And with this weapon in stock, you are a real beast of a killer and you can take up some enemies in Diamond City, etc. The Righteous Authority does 26 damage, but it has a very high fire rate of 50. You have to left click a lot, but you can make it, I guess. So I Item number four, it is a power core armor or a power armor. And item number three, that's a semi-auto combat rifle or as the Germans would call it, kurzes Kampfgewehr. <laughs> Sounds like damage, right? It does 33 damage, quite a nice easy to obtain weapon at level one already in combination with those parts of the power armor. So how do you get that? You want to go south from Concord until you're almost at the Drumlin Diner and now I will show you the way first to the power armor and then to the rifle. All right starting off here that's Concord there on the right is the diner but we are turning left and to the left hand side you can see this little blue car that might be some point of recognition for you. Um, keep in mind there might be enemies waiting for you which you could not beat yet if you're not skilled or not an experienced player. On this left side we have a blood fly. I simply one shot it with the paladin dense weapon I told you about as you can see. Uh, always try to aim for weak points of course and we're heading this way on. On the left hand side you can see this blue building simply yeah, pass it. It somehow looks like a set because it's so thin. I mean look at it. But we're not going there, we're uh, crossing the railroad and going to the electro towers on the other side. We're not going into that camp over there, but facing the Eiffel Tower as I call them. All those small, small Eiffel Towers. And we'll simply follow those, passing the first one, past the second one and there you can see the destroyed bridge. We will go down under this bridge, simply over here. I uh, decided to take this one. Keep in mind there might be enemies waiting for you which you didn't clear out yet. And on the bottom there is a lake and in this lake you can see the shipwreck and you simply want to dive to that shipwreck to get the armor cores. Uh, the fusion core is waiting for you, the torso, left arm and right arm of the T45 and T45B which is a small upgrade uh, for your T45. Keep in mind that you get radiated in this lake so get out of there. 
as quickly as you can. Now we will follow for weapon number four, the semi-automatic rifle. Simply fall over those Eiffel Towers again. I decided to go there from the bottom of the lake, but you can also climb up the rocks if you like to. All right, passing the first one and turning a little bit left and you can see those power wires just above the way or the, the road and you will follow this road until it leads you to your destination. Keep in mind there might be enemies for you, waiting for you, maybe some tough enemies, so always have a look around. You can see there's a lot of bushes that enemies could hide in. So if you're feeling uncomfortable and you're like level one, two, three, I would suggest you guys to like, yeah, maybe crouch around. Always remember to quick save, please, so you don't have to wake them, make the way uh, twice. And uh, at the end of this section of the road, there's this little fighting scene waiting for you nobody's still fighting but you got some crowns or beer caps i think um and we got this short rifle waiting for you the kurze kampfgewehr in the second body remember to loot anything if you like to and make room in your inventory but yeah what about the stats the short rifle it does uh, 33 damage and it shoots quite frequently what a nice weapon to get and it's even much easier than the paladin dance weapon okay last but not least weapon number two and one they are at the same position so i'm gonna spoil you guys what uh those weapon are <laughs> We have the Fat Man. It's a mini nuke. It's like an atomic weapon, a nuclear weapon. And it's the hardened, long barreled sniper rifle. So you really want to go with that one. It does 41 damage, but it has a very nice accuracy. It's super awesome for like sniping enemies of course you can simply hold your breath and then uh, headshot them it's it's very nice to have a sniper early game i think it's very overpowered i started off with like impro weapons and they are pure trash so how do you get that one it's pretty easy as well it's at the south boston military checkpoint and it's a southern from diamond city i will show you the way so we're at diamond city right now at the entrance um, there's this truck and we want to turn a left here on the left hand side simply orientate yourself at some buildings or like those fences maybe and we want to go straight on but turning right is the right thing to do as soon as possible all right if you're facing the yellow car you're on the on the um, right track and we want to turn left and cross this gas station you can decide to take some loot if you want to there's a lot uh, laying around all right next up we're just not going there which might be a mistake but we're actually going there so orientate yourself at the train um and you might want to crouch in the bushes because there could be enemies waiting for you i will be facing an enemy right there but yeah i managed to take him down with the paladin dance laser gun go through this fence and uh, simply pass the sign and then go to the bottom left and cross the road keep an eye out for radiation it might damage you and keep left here at the bottom of this mini road with all those destroyed uh, cars if you are level one there might be like very tough challenges waiting for you so i did it two times and one time i faced a lot of strong enemies and the other time i didn't face any enemy at all so this might be quick save worthy for you after getting out of this mini tunnel i'd say you turn right here don't go up that road onto the bridge but go uh, right here and cross uh, this go to this crossing there's a freezer doesn't have any of industry and yeah you will go straight on here simply follow the sign uh, orientate yourself on that blue uh, tank and there are some wild dogs waiting for me and i had quite a tough time beating them and one of them even mutated so if you don't want to face that feel free to crouch here and to go in circles around i decided to fight them after beating them simply follow the road you will see like this green truck on the uh, right hand side and this rock you can jump on the rock if you want to bow or you can simply go around the rock it really doesn't matter but keep in mind that there's someone waiting for you in the truck there's someone sleeping in my case which was great for me but uh, the person might be awake in your case go around that little stone and then you will see yep you're at the southern boston military camp now first thing first getting the sniper rifle is easy there's a lot of other loot waiting for you in this base but for, just for the sake of this video we're just gonna jump up so check out that and just go up that one jump on the computer or try it yet another time and then jump on that cave or the cage and then on the roof again you might 
be needing a few tries, but yeah, you can find the sniper rifle right here. It's the Kampfscharfschützengewehr. What a great weapon, I love it. Remember, we got the sniper rifle up here. Now let's get that fat boy, and he's in this one. But keep in mind, there's a gunner waiting for you, and the fat boy will lie on the ground right here. And if you make noise, there will be other soldiers hunting you, so just keep an eye out and try to play stealthy i would recommend you guys all right that's my uh, top six items uh five weapons and some parts for of course your t45 that will increase your gameplay that will make you a better player in the first place right from the start when starting in fallout 4 and you might be able to make use of that let me try to snipe that one yep uh, wow, he's quite tough and he can take a headshot. Got those raiders coming in. Yet another headshot. Boy, yeah, I, I think playing with sniper rifles is an, a nice thing to do. And I also love this paladin dance weapon. I think it does a lot of damage. I think the laser weapon is very strong Earl game. And it's very precise as well, even when moving. Like those impro weapons, they are really bad. I wouldn't recommend using those at all. Let's try to heal ourselves. Ah, uh, my last stim pack. What a mess. There's, where's that guy? Hidden there. But yeah, I totally think it's worth your time to take on that long journey and loot all that crap and stuff that you can get make yourself a better player in fallout 4 right from the start i hope i could help you guys out always remember keep quick saving and uh yeah also check out this video which is a starter guide for fallout 4 or that video which is recommended for you thank you so much for tuning in and goodbye see you next video